Several of the features you want to include in your credential design are supported with their own layer in True Credential software. In this example, we discuss the following layers and elements. The Smart Chip element and the Non-Printable Area layer. The Ultraviolet UV layer. The Lamination layer, which includes tactile impression. The Magnetic Stripe layer. As you can see, we've already designed the background and color layers using some of the elements that we discussed in the first example. Now we want to include a smart chip. You need either the professional or enterprise editions of True Credential software to access its smart chip capabilities. To include the smart chip in your design, enable and activate the non-printable area layer and drop the chip icon onto the credential. The chip position is specific. You should verify the position with your card vendor. We will discuss setting up a chip profile and smart credential workflow in a separate lesson. The lesson assumes you have a good understanding of working with smart credentials. You can reduce counterfeiting of your credential by including covert elements using the ultraviolet UV layer. This layer uses material that reacts or fluoresces brightly under ultraviolet light. Fields placed on this layer display on the personalized credential only when illuminated by ultraviolet light. Be sure your printer supports UV printing when you choose this layer and that you are using supplies that include a fluorescent panel. Enable and activate the ultraviolet UV layer. The active tools show you the elements that you can add to this layer. We drop the signature field onto the credential. We want this signature to be at an angle, so we change the rotation from 0 to 90 and then position it across the middle of the credential. To protect the credential from tampering, as well as wear and tear, we apply a laminate to the credential. Enable and activate the lamination layer. True Credential software warns you that you should not enable both the non-printable area layer and the lamination layer because you do not want to laminate your smart chip. We have planned for this issue by using a laminate that has a smart credential window, so we will not ruin the chip by using both layers. When we activate the lamination layer, you can see a sample laminate is applied to the credential. This may become distracting, so you can click the eye to make it invisible if you wish. For our credential design, we are using a tactile impression. This feature visibly alters the laminate and enhances tamper evidence by tearing the laminate during an attempt to remove it. To enable the feature in True Credential software, just select the checkbox. You define the positioning of the impression with the tactile impression module. Now let's switch to the back side of the credential where we add the magnetic stripe. Enable and activate the magnetic stripe layer. True Credential software automatically places the magnetic stripe in the standard location. Expand the advanced section where you can configure the tracks to your specification. We are applying a top coat over the back of the credential, so we enable and activate the top coat layer. Because we do not want to apply the top coat over the magnetic stripe, we use a rectangle to define the space where the printer will not apply the top coat. You can use the coordinates from the magnetic stripe layer to ensure that you define the position correctly. Our credential design is complete. Click Save. Click Print Sample to verify that your credential design prints on the credential as you envision. Click Close to return to your list of credential designs. To edit any of your credential designs, simply click the pencil icon. The next steps in creating your credentials is to design the workflows for them. We cover workflow design in a separate lesson. True Credential software is an intuitive solution for creating secure IDs and credentials. It empowers organizations to meet a wide range of application requirements from basic photograph IDs to high assurance credentials. To ensure that you use your time most efficiently, before you start your project in True Credential software, Plan what content must go on each layer carefully and know the following. Your requirements for the credential. The capabilities of your credential printer. Does your printer support all of your requirements? The capabilities of the ribbons installed in the printer. Do the ribbons support all of your requirements? Refer to the online help for more information on designing credentials as well as helpful tips and tricks.